Hey, Form Assembly fans. My name is Jordan, and I work on our sales team here at Form Assembly. I wanted to take a few minutes today and tell you about our updated Salesforce Dynamic Picklist feature, also known as DPV2. This feature was updated since the last time that we saw you at Dreamforce, and it now includes live lookups, multi-field mapping, and more. So let's take a quick look at the Dynamic Picklist version two. First, we'll take a look at what the Dynamic Picklist can do on the form itself, and then we'll take a minute and go under the hood and show you the configuration. So on this field, you can see that I have a list of all my accounts from Salesforce. I've configured the Dynamic Picklist to show me all these accounts by name. And as I select each account, you can see that the data that is also on the same record, I've taken that data, the street, city, state, and zip, and I've mapped it to these fields in the billing information uh, field set below. So as I select different accounts, you'll notice I'll also be able to pull in that same data from the record that I've selected. So let's take a quick look and go under the hood. We'll look at the dynamic pick list field and how the mappings actually took place. So when I click on the field, I have the choices option. And you can see here that I'm using a Salesforce object lookup basic, which allows me to pull in all of the records by the field that I specify. So once I select the object that I'm working with, then my very first field, account name, that will be the field that will display all of the options in this drop down pick list. The additional fields, street, billing city, state, zip, account ID, these are the other fields contained in the record that I'll be selecting in the dynamic pick list. And then I'll be able to map those fields specifically on this next screen. I can also run sorting on this dynamic pick list. So if I have a specific way that I would like to uh, display this data as it's sorted down in the field, I can make that selection here and I can sort ascending or descending. So let's click next and take a look at the way this data is mapped into the fields directly. So as you can see in column A, these are the records in the account object displayed by name. And then I have street, city, uh, zip, and the account ID as well as state. Down below in the magnifying glass, this is where I would actually select the fields on the form to where that data would actually be mapped. So once I've completed the mapping, I can go ahead and click OK. And then this dynamic pick list uh, has been successfully set up and is ready to go. Now, one other way that you can configure a dynamic pick list is by using uh, SOQL, S-O-Q-L. So based on our last example, the, the standard basic um, lookup, it, it only queries one object. But SOQL allows you to query multiple objects and a developer would be able to fine tune the specific types of records that he or she may want to retrieve. So SOQL gives you 100% control over the query and allows you to, to uh, specify how you would like to call that data into the form. So, you know, overall, these updates have made our dynamic pick lists uh, even more powerful and easier to use. Thanks for tuning in. If you're looking for more information on FormAssembly, please visit formassembly.com or you can check us out on social media. We'll see you there. Thanks. Mm -hmm.